So we're out here at Brush Creek Motorsports Complex in Peebles, Ohio with young promoter Stephen Parton. We just tied up uh, the practice night here. You open in two weeks. Uh, nice configuration with the track. You've made some new improvements this year. What we got going on? Uh, well, first of all, the main improvement is uh, right behind us, a new wall that we put in, uh, replacing the old uh, guardrail. Uh, finally got rid of that. Hopefully the wall will be a little bit safer and it won't sag in on the drivers and we can get more of a consistent racing line around the racetrack. Uh, another improvement is uh, was really utilized here tonight in Test and Tune was a uh, the new gate we put up on our on-ramp to the track. We can roll the drivers out. They can see a little bit of what's going on, kind of look at the line before they go out for their heat racer feature, and we can also get them lined up there, and it also stops cars that have either or flat tires or anything like that any miscommunications from coming back out onto the racetrack and uh, also just some small things new lights out through the lineup area so it's easier for guys to see where they're going and uh, who's showing them where to be lined up at excellent so uh, this year you've got uh, all your big races are coming back you've got the epic weekend in uh, September towards the end of the end of the season uh, you've also got Stephen Parton's hidden gym you college race he gave away three scholarships last year had a great crowd had a had a great lineup of cars and uh, what's going on this year with that uh basically the same thing just a little bit different uh it's the same thing but different that's <laughs> that's the way we always say here at brush creek but uh well, what's, what's the different part about the, it the different well we got uh ump summer nationals coming in for the first time ever at brush creek uh first time more over in this area we saw florence picked them up we thought it might be beneficial for the night after for us to pick it up uh on july 11th um that that's the big uh, the big change uh, we're doing the same thing over and over again uh, trying to help as many people as we can with scholarships like you said three people last year we helped uh, gave one girl her money just a few weeks ago and she uh, she was really appreciative and uh, uh, I'm just excited about what the Summer Nationals will bring to us. We got guys like Shannon Babb, uh, Ryan Unzicker, um, we got Jason Fager, all those guys. Kenny Wallace is scheduled to make an appearance in his modified out here. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it on uh, Wednesday, July 6th. Yeah, you're going to have or some. Or July, July 11th, excuse gonna... me. <laughs> yeah, let's not get tied up with 2011. But uh, you're going to have I'm still some... excited about Lanigan's win last year. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, open a night, April 14th. Yes. Coming up pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to promote with that? Uh, basically, uh, we got uh, one main new class is a little mini wedge class, basically go karts uh, that look like they could race around the big track. We had one out here last weekend for practice, and it was very exciting to watch them. Uh, he's got it all painted up like Bloomquist, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're hoping to get a few of those from the uh, Skyline and Jackson area. And uh, Bombers are coming back for a full season this year, but we've got the regular late models, UMP Modifieds. Uh, You're also going to be running sprint cars for the Epic Weekend. Sprint cars for the Epic Weekend, and also on June 9th, we're hoping to have some sprint cars getting the final details worked out there on June the 9th. Um, just a big year coming up for us. We've got more dates than we've had in, since we've changed the track to the small track, so it's really uh, looking to be a good year. Looks great, bub. Well, thank you. Have a good season, man. All right, thanks for talking to me.